Hello, and welcome to Cadence Design Systems Fidelity Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature or demonstrate a technique in just a few minutes. In this example, we're going to demonstrate the use of the imprint command in Surfer. For this demonstration, uh, the geometry that I have here is the NASA Common Research Model. Uh, this is the wing body configuration that we're going to use for the example. And I'm going to start by opening the Viz Center here in the upper left hand corner of the app. Uh, you see immediately that we have 14 zones and I can expand that list and it will list all the different zones by name that are in this model. In addition, if I hold the control key down while I mouse over the geometry, you'll see that it will highlight each individual zone in yellow as I move the cursor over. This is displayed in the lower right hand corner of the app showing you both the zone name, its zone index, as well as the XYZ coordinate of the location of the cursor. So if I mouse over this area, we see that is the wing upper zone, and I would be able to specify whatever level of grid refinement I want on that zone. Now, if I wanted to have a finer grid refinement, say along a strip along the leading edge, I would have to have a separate zone for that. And that is where the imprint command comes in. So let me close my Viz Center. I'm going to, before I start issuing surfer commands, I'm going to come under miscellaneous and I'm going to open the interactive console. You can see the separate window that opens here. This is not a shell, but it's an actual interactive console that allows you to interact directly with surfer by using commands. I'm going to demonstrate most of the commands by using the drop down menus, but you'll see how we can also input commands directly from this command line. So, under Surfer, there is a surface manipulation, and under that is imprint. So, I'm going to select that, and you see two things happen. First, we get this imprint window that shows up. This is where we're going to input our point and normal to define our, our cutting plane. And what you see in the, in the window is a blue transparent surface that represents the cutting plane. By default, this plane will show up perpendicular to the current view. And you can see right now, it's just kind of cutting through the outboard wing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna input my point on the plane. And I'm gonna also give it the unit normal that I want for that plane. And you'll notice even after I've entered all those numbers that the plane in the window hasn't changed. That's because I have to come down here and on the slider bar, click on this button here and allow it to actually calculate based on my inputs, the actual unit normal vector. And now you can see that the plane in this orientation is cutting along the leading edge. Now this is an infinite plane and it will continue to cut through any surface that intersects with that plane. Unless I select this checkbox down here in the imprint panel saying selected subzones. So for this, I really just want to have it imprint on the upper and lower wing surface. So I'm going to select the upper wing. And you can see in the right hand corner there, I've selected wing upper. I'm going to rotate down a little bit so I can see underneath. And I'm going to select the lower wing. And now I can just come back to my imprint panel and hit apply. You'll notice in the command window in green, it says imprint successful. So I can go ahead and close my imprint panel. I'm going to clear my selection by right clicking, hit clear selection. Let's go back to our Viz Center. And what we see is we still only have 14 zones. In fact, if I click on the radio button here next to wing upper, you see that I have one zone called wing upper that covers the entire upper wing. But if I come over again using control, you can see that this wing upper actually is made of two pieces. That was the imprint command that we used. So what it has done is it has created two subzones 
of the zone wing upper. In fact, if I hover over the name in, this, in the VizCenter list, you'll see that it shows index 12, which is wing upper. It has two subzones now. Same for wing lower, two subzones. Now to be able to use this zone in Stitch and in Charles for setting boundary condition, it has to be its own zone. So what I can do now is come over, I will select that leading edge piece, I can go to Surfer. I'm going to go to Zone Operations, and I'm going to say Move to Zone. And it's going to come up and ask me for the name that I'd like to move that to. In this case, I'm just going to call this Wing Upper Leading Edge. I'll hit Apply. And now you notice in our scene list here that I have 15 zones. And if I scroll to the bottom, my newest zone is Wing Upper Leading Edge. I still have wing upper is the remaining portion of that zone. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up button or subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, drop us a line down below or connect with us via LinkedIn, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.